President Trump voices his support for hard Brexit conservatives as a dispute over how to leave the EU threatens Prime Minister Theresa May's administration. One America's Christian Rhodes has more. A political crisis is brewing in the UK and President Trump is more than eager to pick a fight. The cabinet of Prime Minister Theresa May is in jeopardy after the departure of Brexit Secretary David Davis and Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson over the Prime Minister's soft Brexit proposal. And President Trump immediately weighs in on the matter. I guess when you, when you use the term hard Brexit, I assume that's what you mean. The people voted uh, to break it up. So I would imagine that's what they'll do, but maybe they'll take it a little bit of a different uh, route. So I don't know if that's what they voted for. The president and first lady Melania Trump arrived at the Blenheim Palace, the birthplace of Sir Winston Churchill, to face the crowd of angry protesters, distressed by Brexit and the ongoing conservative pivot in the UK. Despite the anti-Trump sentiments being stirred by Labour Party officials and London's Muslim mayor Sadiq Khan, there is also widespread support for President Trump, mostly amongst the hardline Brexiteers and the working class of England's north. While Prime Minister May is pressing her vision of Brexit, President Trump aligned himself with hard Brexit advocates, former Foreign Secretary Johnson among them. Let me tell you, he's a very talented guy. I was very saddened to see that he was leaving government. And I hope he goes back in at some point. Well, I'm not pitting one against the other. I'm just saying I think he'd be a great prime minister. Yeah. A soft Brexit could keep the UK in the European Union's customs union and keep the British border open. This would prevent the UK from striking new trade deals outside of the EU jurisdiction, whilst the challenges of Islamization, terror and crime, all stemming from mass migration, would remain. And hardline conservatives say this is hardly what the people of the UK voted for back in June 2016. The Brexit deal will be good for, for the UK, good for our European uh, friends and partners. We're going to get on and, and do it. But I think it is, as, as the Prime Minister has rightly said, it is a, a down payment on future uh, receipts that will come uh, to this country as a result of, come, not to, to come to the UK, as a result of uh, discontinuing payments to, uh, to Brussels. The US ambassador in the country, Woody Johnson, said he could arrange a meeting between President Trump and Boris Johnson if the president requested it. This comes as a setback for Prime Minister May, who members of her own party say has already alienated them with her plan, which they see as a betrayal of Brexit. The policies are that we are now proposing to use the same rule book uh, or the same laws really as the European Union. I mean, we'll be collecting the taxes effectively, tariffs for the European Union, that will be a problem in terms of bringing back control of our laws, uh, again, and our borders. But President Trump's main concern, a soft Brexit could impede or make impossible a future trade deal with the UK, which is already one of America's largest trade partners. It seems to be turning a little bit differently where they're getting at least partially involved back with the uh, European Union. Uh, I have no message. It's not for me to say. It remains to be seen whether the president will meet with his friend Boris and if Prime Minister May gets to keep her cabinet amidst the mounting Tory resentment and the onslaught of the Trumpian diplomacy. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.